Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, we will talk about root in Maximo. So, let's start. This is our agenda for today. Okay, we will talk about what do we mean by root in Maximo. How we can apply root in Maximo creating root in maximum okay a root is a list of related work assets which can be considered as stops along the root okay so root related to assets okay we can create we can create uh, more than one asset in one work order Okay, so that is the root. These root stops can be assets or locations, okay, or combination of asset and location. Okay, we can create a root that lists assets that are related by location, for example, for example, all of the servers in computer lab. Maybe we create one work order for all servers in this lab okay or by type of asset such as all fire extension located through our the site okay when we talk about root we talk about more than one asset related to one location okay so Roots simplify building hierarchy hierarchies of work orders for inspections. Okay, that's we mean by root. So different ways to apply root. Actually, applying root to a preventive maintenance record to generate inspection type work order for all work assets listed as stops in the root as we we will see this in the practical okay applying root to work order and generate child work order for each work asset listed as a stop on the root roots are a list of assets and or locations roots are defined at the site level which means another sites in your organization cannot see this root so we have two ways to apply root directly to preventive maintenance application or applying root to work order So creating roots before we can apply a root to a recorder or BM we must create root in the root application under planning module. We can list both assets and locations on a single root. We can also enter a sequence number to indicate that the stops should be worked on certain order okay so sequence of assets is very important okay that's it for theoretical let's see this in practical okay okay let's log in into maximum with the authorized user we will log in with uh, Max Admin, with the admin of the system. This is our dashboard. So go to the root application from planning module, roots.
Let's create a new one. Roots is very important topic in maximum, in general, and in maintenance. Okay. So we have two, uh, three options actually, but we will see for it, uh, first one and last and uh, second one. Okay. This is child work orders. This will create parent work order that holds a lot of work orders. Okay, child work orders, as we will see. This will this option will create one work orders contains same assets with the same job plan. We will create two routes, one for this and one for this and in the next video we'll create BM and associate it with this root and generate recorders okay so let's create this first all assets will be the same job plan and will be the same work order okay so let's create them This is our hood zero 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 one. Let's associate some assets. See, we have location, asset, and sequence. Okay, so let's select assets and see fire. Yeah, we will, we will associate this one. See, it's a bit for side, okay? As we talked, it's on the site level, okay? Another one. Okay, they are now the same assets with one work order. Let's save it. We will call it fire. Save this. Now we created the first route for these files. Okay. We consider they are in the same location. We will create one work order for them, as we will see in the next video. Okay. Inshallah. Let's create a new one. So, but we will talk about this option in this okay new row we will associate different assets say this one So, if you see, job plan now opened, okay, 
So we will select job plan. Let's uh, talk anyone to see anything related to bump. Oh, good. Three months. Let's add another bump. Like this, we will take the same job plan. Okay, good. Sorry, okay. This is the, the same job plan for these bumps. Okay, let's add another one. Different asset here, but the same location. So when we talk about this type of root, child or corders, we talk about assets, different asset with the same location. So let's add fire. This fire, for example, Jubilant for fire. Okay, we will take this, set another one. Set this. It will take also this jubilant. Root for different assets. Okay, now we created two roots. One have the same asset, and one have one has different asset. Okay. Okay. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will create BM and generate recorders for these roots. Okay, thank you guys and see you soon if you, if you want to see more videos like this kindly tell me in the com in, in the comments below tell me and don't forget to share and subscribe thank you